And tonight at 6, we're learning new information tonight about a bizarre case in Fairfax County where two people were found dead. An au pair is accused of shooting a man inside of a Herndon home last February. You might remember this case. She's Juliana Perez Malahiz. Her attorneys argue she fired the gun out of self-defense because the man had stabbed the homeowner. But questions remain if her alleged affair with the homeowner's husband played a role here. Our Matthew Torres was at that preliminary hearing today, and in the last four hours, a judge ruled there is enough probable cause to move this case to a grand jury. Tonight, new court records show just eight months after Joseph Ryan and Christine Banfield were found murdered inside her bedroom last February. Framed photos of Christine's husband, Brandon Banfield, and their family au pair from Brazil, Juliana Perez Magalis, could be seen in that same room. Prosecutors say Brandon, an IRS agent, and the au pair were having an affair the year before. The Commonwealth Monday shared records showing the two visited a gun range in Ashburn two months before the deadly incident. A few weeks later, Brandon bought a gun there, which prosecutors say Juliana used to kill Ryan. Members of the local Brazilian community in the courtroom question if there was conspiracy. Uh, a lot of people believe that Juliana is not guilty, that she didn't do anything, and a lot of people believe that her and him were planning together. Officials say Ryan was in the Banfield's home because he responded to an account for sexual fetishes. The defense says the au pair called Brandon about an unknown car in the driveway. When they both walked in, Brandon reportedly went up to his bedroom upstairs and shot Ryan in the head out of self-defense after he allegedly stabbed his wife, who prosecutors say was naked at the time. The au pair confessed to detectives that Brandon instructed her to get a second gun in the safe in the bathroom closet. She says she fired one round through Ryan's chest while he was still on the floor moving. The judge says her confession is one reason why her second degree murder charge must stay. So everyone just wants to know the truth. Brandon Banfield also took the stand today with his attorney watching his every answer. He pled the fifth to most of the questions out of concern he could incriminate himself in the future. No one has been charged in Christine's death, and he remains a part of the investigation. In Fairfax tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.